ability to, in dreams, for example, um, see a polyptic of realities or space times where you need to figure out the different pieces of a puzzle. For example, you might see a scene in a, in a, in a dream and it brings together different pieces of a day spread out over maybe six hours, but it, it is shown to you in a fragment that you're gonna remember and it comes to you in a very surreal way. But when waking reality matches with your dream reality, your sleep dream reality, everything clicks, like those core images, those key vision flashes make sense. And Scribe realizes that she sees these things over and over before they happen. So this useful information for her is um, in a way her training to realize the different pieces of the space-time puzzle to use in the future for more practical purposes. You need to learn the ABCs before you can read. Each day I print off typed logs and delete the electronic copies. This makes the record etched in stone for me. This is where my dream logs get interesting. There's no way for me to add or change my recall. So I occasionally look back and see typos. Autocorrect sometimes really messes up words since I type so fast trying to capture the dream experience in text as soon after as I can. And the dreams I review trigger connections that happen later or something that happens triggers a memory from a dream I had and I look back sometimes at the text or if I drew the dream to the drawing. Sometimes it's the drawing more than the text that hits a nerve of recognition and the details are there in my time-stamped record, filled in more than my vague general memory. So what if I were seeing through someone else's eyes who was awake half a world away? My dreams deal with places I've never been, people I've never met, all unfamiliar except for my dream self, experiencing that space, taking note of certain imagery, sensing, feeling. What would you do if time and time again, days and months later, your dream drawing comes to life by what you see on social media, those snapshots you took note of? A girl overlooking a valley, the ocean view from an island, the interior of a dream apartment, an interview with a public figure, a move to a new location near an amusement park. Now it could be I was seeing my own future, what I was reading in the media, just like J.W. Dunn would read something in the newspaper that he had dreamed before, exactly as he had read it. So I disconnected, didn't look at any social media. I went into data fasting. I felt that I could ground myself more in physical reality and see what happened. Perhaps really visit the physical locations with my internet team members. Then I experienced my first scent in a dream. It seemed as if going in blind and deaf, shutting off the digital feed, enhanced my dream experience. Yes, I realize these may be vivid dreams that my brain conjured up, but what if I took a trip and my dreamscape was really a journey into someone else's physical reality, sharing that space, two dimensions fringed together.